everybody welcome back so i got in a uh, new scope this is the vortex diamondback 6 to uh, 24 by 50 and this is not really a review on the scope this is the review on the issues of the scope so this is going to go on a new build i uh, am waiting for a barrel to come in and then this was was going to go on that build so the mount is uh it's a nikon tactical it um it has the uh, 20 moa cant on it so i can uh reach out to some distance with that or help with the elevation so about the scope mounted it up last night and then i took and um got it on paper went down to the range today put it at 25 yards and got it zeroed in brought it out to 50, uh, to 100 and then had two shots where I was aiming everything was good and then took two more shots or three more shots and they weren't on anywhere near the, I didn't even see a new hole on the cardboard and it was a new piece of cardboard so uh, loaded five more rounds in brought my my um, scope down to the bottom of the target took a shot wasn't on wasn't on the paper wasn't on, wasn't on anywhere it was off out into the uh, into the woods and then um, so I went all the way to the bottom with the turret and while I was screwing going all the way to the bottom the the turret was still turning but the scope was leveled out there was no more adjustments but I was still turning so I went all the way to the top and then when I got to the top it went up and to the right I'll roll in some footage of uh, that I took while I was at the range and, uh, and looking through the glass here um, but yeah, went up and to the right. So I'm like, wait a minute, that's wrong. That shouldn't be like that. So I lowered it, and then it went down and to the left, you know, and totally not uh, not good. Um, so the scope's going back. I ordered this through the Sportsman Guide, and i uh, not sure if I'm going to send it back to Sportsman Guide or if I'm going to send it to Vortex and have them warranty it. Um, I don't like the eye box. The... It's kind of strange to get even even at like say 18 power still trying to move around and finding the eye box just right these are supposed to be pretty good scopes and uh, it's the first vocal plane you know a lot I've seen a lot of reviews you know when I was looking up the scope I was watching a lot of reviews on uh, on YouTube here and everybody gives it great great reviews but I don't like the eye box um, now mind you it is on this stock and uh, I know here on um, on uh, my 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, at least I got this cheek piece here. And, uh, and mind you, this, this scope is really low, and you know, obviously this is higher. So maybe if it was, if I had a cheek piece, it might be better as far as, like, finding the eye box and getting it, you know, with the parallax just right. But, um, so I'm not, not totally sold on it I, I like i said i may send it back to sportsman guide and not even say that it's broken and just order a um an, another uh, athlon argos that's what what's on this and if they have the gen 2 it'll be a no-brainer because i definitely would rather have the gen 2 than the gen 1 but um so yeah that's uh the issue with the scope um and uh yeah so it's gonna go on a new build whether i get another vortex diamond back or uh or a another athlon argos not not sure but um let me know in the comments below what you would do on, on uh you know as far as which scope would you choose and uh you know they're, they're both good scopes it's for the money you know i'm not i don't have uh you know night force money but it is what it is and uh so let me know in the comments below on what you would uh choose and you know, whether it's just warranty it or just go out and just get another Argos, but um, Athlon Scope. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to roll some footage here. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing. If you're new to my channel, hit that uh, subscribe button and the uh, the bell icon so you get notified when, uh, when I post a new video. And uh, stick around. I was actually shooting the Grendel today. To reconfirm my loads from from last week on uh, with the Winchester um, Winchester 748 powder and uh, with 123 LDs, so 
needless to say, I didn't get to that. I didn't waste any of the, that ammo, and uh, because you know, scope issue. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you all soon. Bye. All right, so here's a uh, little video clip of uh, this new, my new Vortex Diamondback. I am going to be using their warranty service here. This this is brand new, a day out of the box. If you watch the crosshairs, you'll be able to see what's going on. I didn't move the rifle. So that is like going down and to the left. And then it'll go down. And when I get it all the way to the bottom, the turret will still continue to turn and then bottom out and nothing. So, see, I'm turning, I'm gonna go turn, I'm gonna turn it up and now it starts to move up. I get all the way to the top here and I can hear something clicking on the inside when I get to a certain point. Raise it up, and it'll go up to the right. Up to the right, and then down to the left. This will explain why I can't get on paper. I can't get zero.